My mission was to fill Yogurt Haven with customers. My plan, a crazy new flavor that will get people talking. That flavor is poo. <laughs> is that serious? Yeah, the media responds to controversy. We know that. I feel like a poo yogurt flavor might be a news story. If people read the paper, could bring like hundreds of thousands of people in here maybe, or? Just to try that flavor? Yes. Of poo? Yes. I really needed to sell my idea to Nick, so the first step was to actually create the new flavor. I found a company online that said they could custom make any flavor. Um, we're not allowed to say no. We'll always try to formulate anything for a customer. And after a week of waiting, the flavor was ready. So I went to the Gold Coast Lab in Commerce, California to pick it up. This is, uh, this is what you requested. Uh, we call it artificial feces flavor emulsion. Is there a real... There's no actual... It's completely edible. It, it, you could eat this. Right. But if you wanted to dilute it, it into yogurt... You, you could make yogurt. I didn't want to be the first to try it, but I needed to know if the taste was accurate, so I conducted a taste test with some strangers. So I'd like everyone to try the frozen yogurt in front of you. Yuck. What does it taste like? It's not good. <laughs> Peppermint. Peppermint? Kind of like licorice. Like, oh, there's a yeah. Yeah, closer. Mm. It's got some other familiar flavors in there, but I can't. What does this taste like to you? Poo? <laughs> I don't know. Really? Yeah, it does, actually, what I would think of. Um, what were you basing that on? Uh, well, clearly the luck helps. Um, right. The color. Because uh, I was just, it was, it was amazing how quick you got it. So I was like, one, I was like, oh, maybe she's has yeah, no. tried it, or because no, it's not. based on yeah. real poo. Never tried it. I mean, it's okay. You can say if you I have. have it. Uh, it's not. I mean, no, I, I, gen I, genuinely, I it would help to know if you actually have, and no, it does. No, I have not. Even by accident or not something. Not by accident. It's okay. No. It's totally fine. I, if you I, have. I have never. People, tried. people do weird things all I the time. I promise you. I was happy with the results, and with the flavor in good shape, it was time to revisit Nick at Yogurt Haven. Um. Huh? I'm just gonna throw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you want to do? Um. We can give it a shot, but I mean, it's not something I would have out here for more than a day. <laughs> we settled on two and a half months to start, and with Nick's permission, we installed the new flavor. Now, I wanted to get an article in the paper, and that meant hiring a publicist. And I got a meeting with one of LA's best, Tyler Burnett. I think if you really are considering implementing a shit-flavored ice cream, you should reconsider the entire campaign. So, you disagree? Yeah, I think it's a poor idea. If you heard a, that a frozen yogurt shop uh -huh. in your neighborhood had a poo flavor, you're saying you wouldn't go to check it out? No, there are better ways to get attention. I can come up with five off the top of my head. Okay, I'd like to hear one. Frozen yogurt eating contest. Invite kids from all around the block to come and have a frozen yogurt eating contest. Okay, I would not go to that. Next well, one? You know what you could do? You could fill a bucket full of shit frozen yogurt and put it on your head and then stand outside of the store with a sign that says, I don't know how to market a business, and see if people come. 